Hello dear loves. So tonight's topic is something that I've been seeing quite a bit of lately, which is women who, which is women who find that they're really attracted to men who tend to pull away. And the moment somebody comes into the picture and pays a lot of attention to them, they tend to pull away themselves and find that person less attractive than the one who's pulling away from them. And this is a thing that is all too common. And I have a theory about that. So first of all, let's answer half of the equation. Why are we attracted to people that pull away? Why do we feel a heightened sense of wanting to pull them back in? And my theory is this goes back to your lizard brain, which is still partly caveman brain. We still have a lot of tendencies and drives and impulses that are really connected to the caveman inside of us, to that survival instinct of when we lived in the jungle and, and we really needed to be ultra careful about our choices in order to make sure that not only did we survive, but that the children that we made survived as well so that our species can continue on this planet. And there's a part of us that does not want to be left behind. Now think about what our penal system does to punish us. It puts us in jail away from society, but what does it do when we're ultra bad? It puts us in isolation. So really there's a fundamental understanding that, that the worst thing that you can do to a human being is separate them from people. And so the reason why we want to pull away or pull in somebody who pulls away is because there's a part of our brain that goes red alert, red alert, red alert, do not let this happen because if I'm left behind, then my chances of survival are reduced. And that is why we want to pull that person back in to fundamentally feel like we are ensuring our own survival. Now the flip side of that, why am I less attracted when somebody really leans in and pays a lot of attention to me? And this is the same amount of attention that they're looking for from the person that's pulling away that they're wanting to pull back in. So I'm not talking about an excessive amount of attention. I'm not talking about over texting, over calling, really over wanting to be in your presence. I mean somebody who's paying enough attention instead of paying too little attention. And here's my theory for that. Some of you have heard this quote, we seek what's familiar even if it's wrong for us. And sometimes when somebody is paying a fair amount of attention, the kind of attention that we want, the, the rate that we want it, if we've never had that before, we desire it because we see it, we've seen it modeled and we're like, why isn't that happening for me? And then it does start to happen, but it feels unfamiliar, it feels uncomfortable. And we, we feel that sensation of emotional discomfort and we tell ourselves, this must be wrong, this, this person must be wrong for me because I'm not feeling comfortable with the amount of attention that's being paid. And they don't analyze it enough. They don't ask themselves, don't I want this? Shouldn't I be feeling differently about this? Shouldn't I react differently towards this? And they push that person away based on that feeling of discomfort instead of settling into the feeling of discomfort and moving past it so that they can get into something better for them. So Kim says, oh my God, yes, we seek what is familiar even if it's wrong. Story of my past three relationships. Way too many of us, Kim, have done that and, and really let go of people that, that would have been better for us and inviting into our circle people that are not good for us, unfortunately. So my advice to you is when you're dating somebody and they are paying attention to you and they are texting you every morning, hey, how are you? They're touching base with you. They're checking in, they're making plans, they're plugged in, they're leaning in and you feel uncomfortable with that. I want you to analyze that emotion and, and put some perspective into it. So if you follow my advice, then before you're dating, you should have written out your perfect man list. You should have a clear idea of who it is that you're looking for. And I want my women to do that so that they recognize them when they're in front of them. So if you are getting attention that makes you feel uncomfortable, I want you to go back to your list, refer to that list, 
and see how this person compares to that list. And if you're ticking off a lot of boxes there, I want you to just sit with the discomfort, do some meditation, shrink your amygdala, your fight or flight response, reduce your stress level, work through this feeling so that you can end up in a relationship with a better person. So I hope you appreciate this advice. I've got a ton more free advice for you. You're gonna see all of my information below this thread. I want you to like, share, follow, because you are going to love what I'm gonna do for your love life. I'll talk to you soon.